HTML5 and CSS tutorials for beginners. HTML5 specific tags, sections, articles, aside, footer. That's what we're going to cover. So let's actually delete this H1 tag. Let me press on Ctrl S on my keyboard to save this document. Yeah, W3 Web Standard tells us that each web document should actually have a title so let's say you know give a sample title and let's close that title let's save this document after the body let's place a header let's do that I'd like to think of a human body header section is what people see first when they look at us right so then you can place information on the top bar that you see on web pages. So all the header related information, it could be navigation elements and so on, which are very important for usability. So let's close that header um, HTML5 tag. And within that, let's put H1. As you can see, we can have up to six H6. Now, how would you use that though? You know, why is it H1, H2, H3? H1 is the most important according to the web page. Yeah. You can have, if you want, heading 2. But it's only logical if you have heading one, then sh you should have some content around it within the containing element. Because then you can go and say, okay, you know what? Another section can have another heading one if you want, or heading two, and so on. So let's now say, let's say we've got a section that we'd like to place some content and group everything that is related all together. Uh, related to one another within one section because that's how you use sections and let's also say let, let me give you this example let's say aside and let's close the aside within the aside tag let's put some paragraphs which is our p tag you always use this let's close that p tag now p is just p tag is html so as i've said at the introduction video when you think of html5 and html just think of them as just one area for you to learn about web development so now let me save this document what else can i show you here we've got the section within that section we have a side while here let me teach you something so important that not many people actually know and that is this let's just create another aside to speed up the process let me copy this and paste this in there and say aside two let me save this document now within this section here let me also do one more thing and create an article tag and close that up and let's grab some lorem ipsum text lorem ipsum is usually used by web developers it's just a dummy text so that you don't have to keep writing things so within this article let me put it within p put some text and close that P. Let me save this document. Let me go to File, Preview in Browser, Preview in Chrome. And this is the web page that we're working on. But you see, this is our heading. It's not styled yet because we're going to get to that later. We've got a section. And within that section, we've got a side, the first one. And within that, we have a P tag, paragraph tag. 
and we also have another aside that is outside of this section. Now this concept is very important for HTML5 because what this says right now, this aside belongs to the content within this section whereby this one would then belong to the body element which is the parent you may have heard the term HTML5 is all about semantics yet people don't know how to use them now why would you want to use this and understand the semantic side of it because you know placing header tag section article aside footer section all this is straightforward and easy makes sense but how you can use these is more important because it creates better usability furthermore it creates better accessibility and there are one apparently over one billion citizens on this planet who rely on assistive technologies so therefore you know, understanding how to create uh, better semantic web pages and websites it's only in your best interest so let me press on command apply source formatting to clean things up here and well before i close up let me show you another element that is very specific to html5 and that is called the footer yeah use cases for footer is usually you have ul elements within uls you can have list elements which we will cover in coming video tutorial sessions and this is all about html5 specific tags we've got section we've covered that within that we've placed article aside and we've also placed another side outside of it knowing how we can use it and we've got footer section as well as in footer element and i'll talk with you in the next video session